we're just trying to clear some of the snow off because we want people to be able to go outside and mm -hmm. smoke or something. But uh, we don't really want people. Sorry, I'm getting you. No, you're good. We don't really want people hanging out in the driveway just because, um, I don't know, like out of courtesy to the neighbors or something. Yeah. Um, What tuning are you in? Opening. Come here pretty regularly, and I came here um, for the first time like two years before I transferred to Pittsburgh State. So, Congress to me always kind of had like this, like staple and like a, a personality. And they, the fact I'm even living here is kind of just like random. <laughs> my freshman year, um, in like January of my freshman year, um, I was friends with a guy who like knew some of the guys that were living here at the time, and I didn't like I. I'd heard of it, but I'd never come or anything. And I guess like they had a band drop for a show, like super last minute. So they were like, "Oh, hey, um, do you like they? I heard you have a band, or you've been jamming with some guys. Do you want to like open?" And my friend was like, "Sure." So then, I, you know, obviously I kind of got roped into that. So it's just like, there's three of us. I was on sax. My friend was on guitar. My other friend was on drums. And Connor came with us, and he like filmed the whole thing. But we just like opened up a show, just like first time I had ever come here, and it was like crazy. It was like so overwhelming being a freshman. This house brings people together. It brings all the cool, genuine people together. It brings oh, culture to Pittsburgh, which is rare. It's good friends, good music. You know, yeah, that's that's what it is. Yeah, and you know, this this is very different from your typical like college party. It's a lot. It's a lot more low key. It's a lot more intimate. I guess would be the word for it. And you know the the addition of like local unknown bands is even cooler. You know? My freshman year alone, I think that there were like three to four cases where the cops would show up and say like either you finish or like we take the like main person who's setting all this up and like take them out and talk to them and maybe like bring them to jail or like kind of like fuck with them in some sort. But they loved to like kind of get on us so. I think like two years later, three years later, when you guys started to live here, over time, just we started making the shows earlier. Uh, I don't know, and I remember my first show actually being here. I was upstairs in Matt Paris's room, which is now Tally's, which is going to be whomever's now. Uh, I was in the kitchen, and then I see a cop, and then we all just kind of like booked it upstairs, and like, not Matt was in his room. It was just like 15 people who were just like his friends, who were just all huddled in, just like nothing's going on here, and then like. The cop actually went around, walked around the house, and like went so close to just like finding all of us. But like, all together, it was just, it was a trip. I don't know. Over time, they've started to just like ease up a bit, and it also had to do a lot with people who lived around here. I guess they were calling in and saying yeah. we were being they, too loud and, and stuff. In the past. Yeah. Um, and then there was like, I don't know the extent to it, but oh god, <laughs> I don't know the extent to it, but there was like. Uh, court troubles or legal troubles at some point where they were threatening to go that far as to just shut this place down as a whole in terms of like letting us do shows or even make noise so yeah, like they had to go like go to a hearing at some point yeah, yeah like uh, matt and dylan and brennan like all those guys had to go like on campus to like like some official conference hall and like basically just get reamed out by some like campus officials and stuff and that wasn't fun <laughs> I mean, this place is pretty much home for us. We've had our best shows here. We've had just such good connections with people. And honestly, Johnny and, and the house, they're just like such wonderful people. And it's just a pleasure to see like the scene 
is uh, all coming together. We've heard other bands, we played mixed bills here. It's just been an absolute pleasure to like see a community come together and just rip a set, you know? It's been awesome.